Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Here we are. It's the start of May. It's the start of a brand new month of pens in use. My theme this month, as I'm doing every three months at the moment, it's use me up. So the idea here, I don't ink up any new pens for this. What I'm going to be doing is using my already inked pens, writing them out when it's finished, it gets cleaned out, put away, and I pick another one for my inked pens. I've got loads of inked pens at the moment. There's about 30 of them. So hopefully we can reduce that number during this month. Join me now down on the table and we'll take a look at the pens I'm going to be starting the month with. Welcome down to the table. Here we've got the notepad that I use for my pens and use videos. See, from January 2022. This is Oxford Optic Paper. Very nice fountain pen friendly paper. 90 GSM paper. Let's get to the right page again. So what are the pens I'm going to be using this month? The first pen this month is this blue pen. Nice dark blue colour. This is the Jin Hao X159. Solid colour, nice chunky feeling pen. Quite light feeling as well. It's a plastic body where the one the Jinhao 159 that was metal, which is why it was heavier. This is the Jinhao pen that's got the number eight size nib. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Hopefully that will focus on my hand and stop the light reflecting on it. There we go. Nice chunky nib on a nice chunky pen. It's a cartridge converter. This is what I was saying. The whole idea is to use these up. Hopefully I'll get a week out of this. So I think this might be the first pen that gets finished. But that's the whole idea of the month. I don't like even little bits of ink like that. I always feel a bit guilty when you throw it down the drain. So by writing it out, by using it in these pens and use months, that's a good way to finish it off. So we've got a Jin Hao. X159. This has got a fine nib. I have been told now there are medium nibs available. I currently don't have any plans to place an order with AliExpress, so I haven't really looked. But when I next do an order, I will look at getting a medium nib so I can compare the two. In terms of cost, this was 12 Aussie dollars. I like to give the price of a pen just so you've got an idea, especially if you're you're looking in the market. You know, it'd be nice to know this is only $12. Whereas some of my other pens this month, you know, they're well over $100. And, you know, so by putting the price, people know roughly what they're looking at in terms of if they wanted to get one. The ink in here is by Dominant Industry. And it's Lungo. It's a nice brown ink. Got a little bit of shading. Don't know if that's coming through in today's writing. Certainly when I write on some of my other papers, you can see a load of shading. Let's look at drying times. So there's immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. After a minute there, we're nice and dry. I mean, 30 seconds, although it was smudging a teeny little bit, you know, I'd have been happy turning the page over after 30 seconds. So this is the Jin Hao X159 with the dominant industry Lungo. My second pen, we've got a big jump in price. We've got the Pen BBS 323. This is a metal pen. I believe it's aluminium. It feels very light love this brown color and i like this shape it's unusual so we're we're curving out curving back down we curve out and down and start going out again very nice very different shape you know most of my pens they're essentially straight but this one just a little bit of visual appeal no clip on this pen so be aware of that this one's got an extra fine nib i like the fact that the section is in the same material and the same colour. 
it's also a cartridge converter. Looks like we've got a bit more ink in this one though. I do like pen BBS pens. I've got quite a few of them. That I'm going to say they're consistent. Usually you can rely on them. And one of the things I do like is that pen BBS, they are innovating a bit. They are doing things that are slightly different than other pens, which is why I like the shape of this. So we've got here the pen BBS 323 extra fine. Now I normally don't like fine or extra fine nibs. This one's not too bad. I may look at swapping the nib. I believe these are number six size nibs. Not planning to do that just now, but it might be something I do in the future. In terms of cost, as I say, we're taking a jump. When I bought this, it was 53 Australian dollars. The ink in here is actually the same as the previous one. So it's dominant industry. Lungo. To my eye, in this pen, the ink actually looks a bit darker. But again, I'm seeing this at the moment in a very, very bright light. Coming over the camera, it still looks darker to me. So hopefully that comes over on the screen as you're watching this. Drying times. So that's immediate. 10 seconds. Looks wetter, doesn't it, than we were seeing with the 159. 30 seconds. Dried off quite a lot between 10 and 30 seconds. One minute. Again, after a minute, that one's nice and dry. So this, it's the Pen BBS 323 with dominant industry Lungo. Another slight jump in price. This time, not as bad, up to $75. And here we've got the Narwhal on the Narvalo Key West. This is the Las Caroladas, which is the purple version. This was a special edition version. So this gorgeous, look at the sparkles in this material. There's like silver, there's pinks. And then depending how you catch the light, that seems to change. Very nice. It's a classic shape. It's a torpedo shape. And it's the only now war that I'm aware of that's a cartridge converter. So let's take this off and I can show you. There's a cartridge converter. Now I'm deliberately agitating this at the moment because the ink in here has got some shimmer in it. So I want to make sure I give it the best chance. This has been inked up about three months. So one of the things I'm hoping is that the feed isn't getting blocked by that shimmer and we'll see as I go through the month if that's happened but hopefully I do use it often enough that it's not had time to fully dry out so we'll use the new spelling so this is Navalo Key West Las Colorados And this was 75 Aussie dollars. The ink is by Diamine and it was part of the Inkvent series and it's Deck the Halls. So this ink, the base colour is purple and then hopefully we'll see it on here. We've got some red light sheen and shimmer coming through. And I thought, well, that'll go nice with the sparkles. Let's see if we can see any of that at the moment. Yeah, there we can have, hopefully you can see that on Narvala and on Key West. Let me see if I can try and get this slightly different so it captures it on the camera. So hopefully somewhere with me fiddling with the paper, you would have seen that. Drying times, immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds and that one's nice and dry. So we won't do the one minute test. Now it's had time to dry a little bit more. Can we see any more of that sheen and shimmer? Just give it one last go. More sheen in at the moment. 
very pretty though and i think it does look nice with this pen so this is the narwhal or narvala key west last color radus with diamine deck of the halls just going to move the page up before i fetch on the next pen just so i've got room there so that's my three pens under 100 dollars one of the things I like to do when I'm doing my pens and use months is I like the idea of doing three pens that are under $100. Then the remaining three pens, they generally are over $100. Just so I get a really good uh, spread of, of prices. So between the 75, we've got a massive jump to the next one. The next pen is the only gold nibbed pen that we're going to be looking at this month. This is the Pilot E95S or the Pilot Elite. This is in the burgundy color. Absolutely love this. I think they call it champagne, this color that they've got on here. Very nice looking pen. Small pen, pocket sized, maybe just a little bit big for a pocket pen, but I can still carry this around in my pocket quite easily. Looks small there, looks even smaller when you take the cap off, but as soon as you post it, beautifully sized pen we've got an inlaid nib 14 karat gold nib this one's a medium just to turn that around one more time so you can get a look and then take off the body this is a cartridge converter pen i think i may end up only getting one use out of this i have got some other pens to fetch in in its spot don't worry about that now this does come with a cartridge converter but the problem with it is you can't see the ink level because it's actually quite a deep body. So the all you can see is the actual mechanism for working the converter. So what I do is I've got here a pilot cartridge and I just use a syringe and syringe fill this. And that's how I keep this one filled. I like doing that because I can then see the ink level. And as we saw there, not a lot left. So this is the pilot E95S with a medium nib. As I said, it, this is a massive jump in price. When I bought it, I paid 195 Aussie dollars. Got to be honest, I think it's well worth it. It's a beautiful pen to write with. The ink in here is by Diamine. And it's Claret. I like this ink colour. I think it goes really well there with the colour of the material. Dry and times. So there's immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. You know, there you can see I'm using that unposted. It's usable. Only smudging a little tiny bit, but for completion, we'll do one minute. So after a minute, yeah, that's nice and dry. It's going to be a shame to put this one away, I've got to be honest. I think it's such a nice pen to use. But I do have other pens that need to be given some love. So that's why this one's going to go away. Might only be for a month, might be for three months, I don't know. Depends how much I miss it. So that's the Pilot E95S with Diamine Claret. Now, I did slap myself whilst we were waiting for this one minute test. With the Key West, I didn't put the width of the nib. It's a broad nib. So that's now been corrected. I'm going to move the page up a little bit. There we are, there we've got the final two empty slots. Pen number five. Again, we're going to go up in price a little bit. Not as much as what we've just done, but still going to go up. And the pen this time is the Narwhal or Narvalur. This is the 365 Cano Crystals. This material is Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 3.5. This is one of the prettiest pens that I own. Really like the look of it. It's in the Nautilus body shape. And I, I actually like that body shape as well. It's piston filler. We've got an ink window. The ink window, not too big. I'd have liked to have seen that double the size, but I've been very, very picky. I have got an issue with this pen. As you can see, here we've got a gap between the cap and the body. I don't know how, but when I was cleaning this out, I managed to unscrew the whole mechanism. 
and for the life of me I just cannot get it to go back down properly so what I do is I just use it as is I don't get any ink leakage so it doesn't bother me it's still more than usable the only thing that I do do I'll only use this at home I don't want to find it's in a bag being jostled around and then it starts to leak ink so we've got a piston filling pen I have swapped the nib on this when I got this the only nib available was a medium and it was a medium now all nib what I've done I've actually swapped it this is a number six nib from Goulet this is a Yoho nib fits really nicely fits really well so we've got here a Navalo very very generous line 365 Cano crystals I'm going to go on to the next line it's a broad Yoho nib and it cost me 241 Aussie dollars then I also had to pay extra for the nib as well the ink this is by Colt Pens it's actually made by Diamine but sold under the Colt Pens brand and it's Little Pip this is a really nice ink it goes down with this really dark purple color but as it dries it develops a really gorgeous gold sheen we'll give this a few minutes to dry because it's a very wet writer which we'll see now with our drying times so immediate 10 seconds 30 seconds one minute it's still very wet I'm going to do line above two minutes after two minutes even look at that still extremely wet very very wet combo very nice pen there and as I say if you can see here where I was writing you can see all that gorgeous gold sheen there on it there seems to be no more purple left it's virtually all that gold so this is the Narvala 365 Cano Cristals with Cult Pens Little Pip my final pen for the month a little bit more than what I paid for the Narvala one I want to empty this out because I've got a few pens from this manufacturer and what I try to do is only have one of them inked up at any one time so once this is empty I'll ink up one of the other ones and this is the Leonardo Memento Magico this is in the meal color the pen I want to ink up when this is finished is my Memento Zero Grande I haven't used that pen it feels like about six months and I'm looking forward to getting some ink in that one again this is another piston filling pen another one with the ink window this time though as you can see that ink window a lot bigger a lot easier to see your ink level there I like this it's all in line you can't feel any seams I like this meal color when I first got it I was a bit like I'm not certain of this but after I'd used it for a couple of days really really like it it looks very unusual doesn't it I say it's a piston filling pen not going to work the piston it's got the new Leonardo shape there to, to the section that's a shame I like the section shape on my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande I find that this is not as comfortable it's still nice and wide but I do find this lip here does tend to dig in a little bit which is a shame the nib I believe is made by Yoho and it's a broad nib so here we've got a Leonardo I believe that little issue there is because I've had the cap on and off this for a few times whilst I've been talking so this is the Memento Magico I say we do we've got a broad nib we do jump in price a little tiny bit we go up to 260 Aussie dollars the ink is by Diamine and it's blaze orange I love this combo we just get this gorgeous shading coming through 
and then we get these different turns so we've got pills we've got darkness we're very very nice drying times so we go immediate and i've got to make sure i use a clean finger for this 10 seconds 30 seconds one minute after a minute we're still smudging Go on, let's do a two minute test. Yeah, two minutes there, that's now nice and dry. So this is the Leonardo Memento Magico with Dye Mine Blaze Orange. So that's the six pens. Let's swap on over and take one final look at them. So here are the six pens that I'm starting off with in May of 2023. The Jinhao X159 with Dominant Industry Lungo. The Pen BBS 323 with Dominant Industry Lungo. The Narvilla Key West Las Coroladas with Diamine Deck of the Halls. The Pilot E95S with Diamine Claret. The Narvilla 365 Cano Crystals with Cult Pen's Little Pip. And the Leonardo Memento Magico with Diamine Blaze Orange. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What pens do you use in this month? How do you choose the pens to use? I've really been enjoying, as I've said multiple times over the past few months, I enjoy these themes because it gives me a way to focus on specific pens. Please drop any comments down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like Every time you comment just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.